Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to learn a hummus hack. I love hummus. Who doesn't love hummus? And there's an easier way to do it. When we think about making hummus, it's about trying to figure out how to emulsify that garlic and chickpea into a smooth finish where I'm going to reverse the process today and show you how you can do it and do it in less than five minutes. So let's get started. The ingredients don't change. You're going to need a can of chickpeas, drained, reserve the aquafaba, a tablespoon of tahini and the oil, some lemon juice, a bit of salt, four to six garlic cloves, just depending on how much garlic you love. I love garlic. And then a half a cup or so of the drained, what they call aquafaba, which is that liquid in the bottom of the chickpea can. Next, let's add the tahini, the garlic, more garlic, a splash of lemon juice, about a half a cup or so of aquafaba. This is what it will look like. And then let's blend away. You are creating an emulsion, so it looks like something like this, kind of nice and drippy. Now we're going to add the chickpeas and blend away. Having that initial emulsion will help your chickpeas emulsify even smoother. Use the top of your food presser if you have one like mine. If not, just add it to the inside, add a little bit more aquafaba and olive oil to the consistency that you love. To make it even smoother, if you have the time, you can pull the skins off the chickpeas for an either smoother consistency. But I can get this hummus done in record time and begin to plate it and enjoy it. Maybe on a salad maybe with some fresh fruits and vegetables. Our favorite for a light dinner or add some sun-dried tomatoes and make a sun-dried tomato hummus, which is the bomb. Or maybe some tartines. The sky's the limit when it comes to hummus and what you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please feel free to subscribe for other short videos on hacks and easy things that you can do in the kitchen so that you can eat well and live well. Thanks for joining me.